hey, I wanted to give you a quick uh, cable crossover variation you can use in your workouts. Uh, most people, when they do a cable crossover, you'll set up the, uh, the cable machine so that your arms are about shoulder width apart, uh, I'm sorry, are shoulder level, and you're going to extend horizontally across your body and then back. So this is a standard way to do a cable crossover. But I think a really cool variation is you actually come up as high as you can to the middle, and then you come straight down. And you're going to do this five times. So choose a weight that's heavy enough so you can do it five times, three to five times. And so I think right when you do this exercise, number one, you're never going to do a normal ca cable crossover again. You're probably going to want to do this one because it hits your entire chest muscle. It also gets your core and your shoulder as well. And there's one thing missing. If you know me by now, you know that I like to pair exercises together. So what I like to pair with a cable crossover is either a push-up or an abs exercise. And so with a push-up, I think it's an amazing uh, workout if you pair these together, especially at the end of a workout, which is when I typically do these, like an end of a pushing workout. And so uh, you do this exercise with no rest and you do push-ups. And even if you can do a lot of push-ups, you might be able to, able to only do 5, 10, 15 push-ups, okay? Uh, the second exercise is an abs movement. So let's just say you do a hanging abs raise in between the cable crossover, which really helps fully engage your core uh, as well. And again, it's a more efficient way of getting a workout completed. So anyways, let me know what you think of the cable crossover variation, and I uh, hope you enjoy it.